What's up guys? Welcome back to my page. If you are new, I am Annie Mae of Anime Reads and I hope that you like this video so much that you decide to hit that subscribe button and join the family. It's fun out here, I promise. So today we're going to be talking about dark romances. I've been getting constant and non-stop requests for this video and I figured why the hell not? Let's get straight into it. First book on my list is one that caught me by absolute surprise. I didn't even know that she wrote like this. And this is Tilly Cole's Lord of London Town. So I'm not going to lie. When I first read this, I was like, Tilly, you write like this? Like, holy shit. Because I had only read A Thousand Avoided Kisses before I actually picked up this book. So... Yeah, to say I was flabbergasted is an understatement. In this story, we follow Arthur and Cheska and Arthur. He's part of the mafia. His dad's like the leader of this group and they are a bunch of badasses and I love everything about them. And Cheska is this girl. Her father is a businessman and she's basically kind of been spoiled all her life. And her dad already chose like her fiance, have all that stuff already planned out for her. And so in the story, it kind of jumps to different ages so we start off at 13 where Arthur and Cheska actually meet and then we jump to 18 where they meet again and then to 23 I think and that's when shit begins to pop the fuck off for these two. Something tragically happens to Cheska and she has nobody else to run to other than Arthur and at this time when she finds him he is actually the leader of the mafia. Yeah I love everything about this i love author's click which is like my favorite thing about this story to be honest i love how like ruthless but like tight-knit they were um i even like the one who ended up being one of my favorites was the one who talked to like the dead people i loved him but yeah i don't know i ended up really really vibing with him but i love author the most obviously because he's just top tier so yeah, they go on the journey together of trying to figure out who's after Cheska and it's also intertwined with somebody else and his group. Just fucking good guys. But if you don't like listening or reading about like torture and stuff like that, this is not the book for you because I'm pretty sure like the first killing scene or whatever is like torture and she goes into details and it was really good to me but if you're not into that shit then this is not the book for you. It has spice, it has action, and it's revenge and you guys know I love my revenge stories so yeah. So the next one that I wanted to recommend to you guys is another Tilly Cole series and it is It Ain't Me Babe. This is like an MC slash cult romance so just gonna tell you guys that now it has sexual um, assault, it has like I think like brutal killings as well um so yeah just thought i would let you guys know that off the bat so in the story we follow river and mia so guys the crazy thing about this is this character's name is not mia it's actually may and you would think i would remember that and mia was raised in a cult and it's a pretty fucked up situation and just like the last story um we start off with them being really young and they end up meeting because River is out in the woods with his father and them. I think they're like burying a body. And River decides to go and follow like this fence. And that's where he runs into Mia. And she's kind of like crying at this fence. And he's trying to figure out what's wrong with her. Now River has like a very bad stutter. So he usually doesn't talk. Um, but he ends up trying to talk to Mia and figure out what's wrong with her. And then he hears his dad yelling for him. So Mia runs away and then he leaves. Whatever. He ends up trying to spend like good amount of time trying to find this cult again, but he never could find it again. But Mia was always on his mind. And years fly by and Mia ends up basically running away from the cult and she actually gets away. So she ends up at the hangman's headquarters and the hangmans are basically like this MC. And who runs this MC other than River? So he's actually known now as the hangman mute because he doesn't speak because of his stutter. And when they run into each other again, he knows off the bat, like, holy shit, this is the same chick that I've been looking for for, like, ever. And then he figures out, too, like, she also has, like, the cult chasing after her. But yeah, so this was so good. I gave this a five stars. So I really enjoyed Mia and River's story. This is part of a long series. Um, I've only read up to, I think, like, book three. It has spice. It has really good characters and plots, and I just really adored it and adored their relationship so definitely would recommend this okay guys so it seems like we're on a tilly cole 
train right now because the next book is Sick Buck by Tilly Cole. And guys, this is not for the lighthearted. I'm just going to tell you that now. The trigger warnings have to do with sexual assault. So this is a book that I'm actually still reading, honestly. Um, But I just knew that I had to put it in here because so far I am loving this story. So we are following Ellis and Heathen. This is, I want to say, like a Alice in Wonderland retelling in a way, but just a lot more gruesome and a lot, lot, lot more dark. But yeah, so Ellis is basically like the bubbly little girl, and Heathen is like the kid who always brooding. He doesn't let anybody touch him, and he just likes to watch them die, basically. They end up meeting at Ellis father's like estate or house or whatever it's like a big ass mansion heathen's parents end up dying i think and so he's basically taken in by ellis's dad and something's not right heathen is starting to realize ellis kind of tells him like my dad has me dress up and like dance in front of like my uncles and my dad and all them and he's kind of like weirded out by that and so he then ends up finding out before Ellis that they're basically molesting kids and just doing all kinds of shit. And so he then is kind of trying to like protect Ellis. And so years later, he then is now kind of like in a prison and Ellis is still at that house. And so they end up going on this journey of revenge, guys. It's really, really good. I really like the revenge part of it. Like even in the back, it says, as he then pulls Ellis out of her mental prison, reviving the essence of who she once was, down the rabbit hole they will go. With malice in their hearts and vengeance in their veins, they will seek out the ones who hurt and destroyed them, one at a time. Each one more deadly than the last. TikTok. I fucking love it. So definitely recommend this. Okay, so this next series is not actually, like, dark. It's just more on the spicy side of things. And that is Beyond Gods. Guys, looking for spice. These are where you want to be. I actually really like this one more than I like this one, to be honest. I just, I don't know. So basically, this is a Persephone and Hades retelling. If you do not know already, that is what this is. And so in the story, Persephone hates being in Olympus. And she actually wants to live like a modern life outside of Olympus and far away from her mother and all this politics. So one night, the rug is kind of pulled from beneath her feet when Zeus announces his engagement to Persephone. And everybody here knows that Zeus kills basically all his wives. So Persephone's like, you thought I was going to be on that list. So she ends up trying to run away. Ends up running into Hades and he ends up actually helping her, which at first he was really like, should I help her? Like she got to cross this veil by herself. I can't grab her from this aura. It's basically like declaring war on Zeus. And so when she gets over there, she ends up making a deal with Hades and it just goes, it snowballs from there, guys. It's so freaking good. Hades was it, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I was here for the club scenes, for the shows. I was here for it. This has like voyeurism. Don't judge me, but I was here for those. I was 100% here for those. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for spice, definitely check these out. Really good. The plots are actually very good. It's not just spice. It's a good storyline. Um, there's also a part three. I haven't picked that one up yet. This was a five stars though, so check it out. Okay, guys. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that I just finished like not too long ago. It had to be like two weeks ago. And guys... I can't believe I didn't read this sooner. Like, I'm actually, like, kicking myself. Because I'm like, what the hell, Yanny? Like, you've been hearing about it everywhere, but you just didn't want to pick it up? Like, why? And then I picked it up, and I was like, a speechless, you guys. This series is none other than the Mindfuck series. So, it starts off with the risk, um, but if you get it on Amazon, it comes all in one, and it's on the way for me. It's like $31, but it's also on Kindle Unlimited if you have that. That's where I read it at originally. When I first heard about the story, I wasn't even remotely intrigued, which is crazy, um, because it's actually one of the best reads that I had this year. It's about a girl who is a serial killer, and she ends up meeting a FBI agent who is actually on her case, and they end up liking each other. So it's like... At first, I'm like, okay, so she's a serial killer. Who's with a cop? Whatever. So I think what turned me off from the book when I first heard about it was that she was a serial killer. And I was just like, no, I don't want to read about that. Like, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with that. And then I kept hearing about it, kept hearing about it. And I was like, let's just try it. It's free. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like it. 
I loved it. Yeah, she is a serial killer, but for a great reason. Like, if there was a reason to be a serial killer, which there isn't, but if there was a reason, that is the reason. I said what I said and I meant what I said. That's it. I'm just going to read the synopsis. I love this story so much and I'm so hype about it that I feel like I will spoil the shit out of you guys. They took too much, left too little. I had nothing to lose until him. I didn't expect him. I didn't want to fall in love, but I can't let him go. Logan Bennett makes the world a safer place. He's brilliant. He's a hero. He locks away the sick and depraved. But while he's saving lives, I'm taking them. Collecting the debts that are owed to me. Ten years ago, they took from me, and they left me for dead. They should have made sure I stayed dead. Now I'm taking from them, one name at a time. I trained far too long. I've been patient. I can't stop now. Revenge is best served cold. <laughs> they never see me coming until I paint their walls red. Logan doesn't know how they hurt me. He doesn't know about the screens they ignored. He doesn't know how twisted that town really is. He just knows people are dying. He doesn't know he's in love with their killer. No one suspects a dead girl. And Logan doesn't suspect the girl in his bed. They're looking for a monster, not a girl who loves red. Not a girl in love. I'm a faceless nightmare, at least until I tell them the story they pretended never happened. But in the end, will Logan choose them or will we watch them burn together? Guys, guys, listen. If you don't take any of these other books that I like recommended, this is the series that you need to read. Like, pick this shit up, please. You would not regret it. Like, I can't believe I didn't pick it up sooner. So happy that I just stopped paying attention to the serial killer part and just really read it and gave it a chance because holy shit, bro, I was rooting for her that whole entire time. I'm sorry, I'm usually not the kind. I mean, I could read a book and be like, okay, this is not real. So I was rooting. I'm like, yo, chop them, take them, cut that. Yep, so you can't do it again. You can't have kids. You can't have kids anyways because he dead. But like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I was just, I was her number one fucking cheerleader the whole time I was reading, guys. So yeah, definitely check it out. Five stars. If I can give that bitch ten more, I would. Okay, so, yeah. so the last book on this list for today um, is actually not a dark romance, but it is a very, very, very spicy read. So with that being said, the book that I am talking about is Hush Hush. I will put a picture right here because I read it on my Kindle as well. So yeah, um, basically in this story, we follow Aubrey and James. So Aubrey is going through some financial problems and so she needs money. And her best friend is kind of like a very classy, I don't know what to call them, like escort. And so she makes mad money from this. So she's telling Aubrey like, yo, you should do this. You're beautiful. Like, why not make money off it? So one day, Aubrey is kind of like thinking about it and she decides like, fuck it, let's do it. So she goes to this job and she ends up being an escort. And I'm going to read just the small synopsis. Okay, so it says, I knew the rules. Never reveal my true identity. Play the game. Give the illusion. Don't get too close to my clients. The dark and glamorous lifestyle of the rich and shameless opened my eyes to a lavish world of sin and wealth. And a man I can't have, a man I desperately want, James Rivera. We're treading a fine line as we live the ultimate double life until we make a startling discovery that tests both our loyalties. Only had to follow the rules, but the rules are meant to be broken. Anyways, super good to be into steamy romance. So I have a good amount of books that are supposed to be dark romance, but I don't want to bring them to you guys' attention yet until I figure out if it's actually worth mentioning. So once I do that, I'll come back for a new video with some dark romance. Yeah, so that's all the books that I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, I promise we are fun here. We have a great time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get the notifications for whatever I post. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.